So today we have with us Mr. Sanjeev Hazarika, who is the core team member of NACETS. It's a, a it's a national entrepreneurship some science society here uh, in Guwahati. Uh, no, okay, we we call it Northeast India Scientific and Indo, uh, no, Entrepreneurial Entrepreneurial Society. Yeah. yeah. Okay, and he's also one of uh, one of the organizing team member for the semiconductor workshop at Zagirot uh, College here today. So welcome to Business Thank Office, you. Mr. Hazarika. So first of all, I would like to hear from you what this workshop was about today. Right. Give us a gist of it. Right, right. So basically, uh, you know, uh, with uh, the Stata is setting up a new semiconductor uh, test and assembly plant. So with this, there's a lot of interest in this domain, right? So especially, uh, you know, there's not much of there's not much of know-how about how this industry works. Right, so especially for the students and as well as for the faculty members, right? So we thought of uh, giving uh, people a platform, right? So uh, to interact with people. So we have, uh, you know, uh, brought a lot of industry experts as well as people from the academia who are working in this domain, and to give our students a flavor of how the whole ecosystem works, so uh, how the whole industry works, as well as how the technology works. Right, so they can so that they develop some kind of passion or some kind of interest. In this. So that is the main goal of organizing this uh, workshop. <clears throat> so here I would like to know about uh, your opinion on the semiconductor since it's the first of a kind initiative here in Assam, right, and it's, right. it will be a boost to economy as well as academia and entire northeast. Yeah, yeah. So I think this is going to cause I would say it's kind of a revolution, uh, you know, so especially for Assam. So I know first of all we have to thank the government of Assam that you know uh, we are having this industry as well as startup. Right, so that's a that's a big achievement for us, and this is going to provide a kind of a starting point, right? So for for the industry to develop in future. So now we are starting with the manufacturing. So semiconductor process has basically two verticals. So we call it the design vertical and that is manufacturing vertical. So currently we are starting with the manufacturing, uh, some part of it. Again, that's not a complete manufacturing. Uh, plus, there's a lot of scope in the design set. Okay, so it's basically for people who are done engineering or uh, 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 or even for from other degree colleges, right? Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of scope for them. So, uh, so we want to provide some kind of, uh, you know, uh, starting kind of students. And uh, I mean, coming to the future, um, all all I would say is there's tremendous scope. So especially for Assam. So we are having the manufacturing industry. Then slowly we can, you know, uh, uh, probably it will move to design side. So, which is uh, going to create, which can actually create a lot of jobs, a lot of opportunities, right? And uh, yeah, so we are looking forward to a very bright future, right? So, so we are starting somewhere, but we have a very long way to go. What do you think about the technological advancement here in this region? Uh, because semiconductor is a high-tech industry, right, it's right, the first right. one here. Yeah, yeah. Till now, there has been no such a big uh, right. technology here in uh, in this part of India. Right, right. So. Um, so we are starting with something simple, just to explain the whole whole process, right? So we are starting with what is called a test and assembly plant. So technology-wise, you know, uh, technically it is a bit easy to do whatever you know the plant, whatever we're trying to uh, do it here. So we are starting with something simple, and then we have to move up the value chain. So basically, we have to do more complicated stuff, right? So mm -hmm. that's how we, we we move up, right? So uh, so we are starting somewhere, and then we have to uh, you know, move to a design side, which is a bit more complicated in terms of uh, you know, uh, technology, I mean, technical challenges. Okay. And uh, maybe later, you know, Assam will probably have some kind of manufacturing plant, which is a full fledged manufacturing plant, which is coming up in Gujarat now. Mm -hmm. So, just to complete the complete value chain. So, uh, so we have a lot of scope, a lot of uh, future. So, what do you think about the uh, challenges uh, our region has, okay. uh, you know, for these kind of industries? Okay, so this is this requires a lot of skill set, uh, very specific skill set. Okay, especially uh, uh, if you want to move on to the design, so semiconductor design. Okay, so currently, if you see the design industry is mainly based in Bangalore or Hyderabad or maybe in some part in Delhi, right? So. Um, because that's where the design talent is, right? So, uh, so the challenges are, you know, um, or uh, we have to create a lot of kind of skill enhancement programs, right? So for the students. Uh, so that's what we are talking about. I think a lot of experts talked about that. So how to enhance their skills. For example, Nilit 
is an organization that right, who works on the skill enhancement, right? So students have to acquire the skills, make them ready to enter the industry, right? Then we'll be able to uh, you know take up this uh, challenges. So we have to take those uh, you know the initiative steps, and this platform like this, this workshop like this gives a idea about how to you know how to move forward, right? So how to make people. Uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, enhance your skills, right? So those, those are the things that we have discussed, and uh, so that's how we have to move forward. So we need to have a plan. So uh, luckily, there's a lot of support even from the government about skill enhancement, right? So uh, for the graduates, as well for general graduates, oh. as well for technical graduates. So to address the demand, you know, uh, you know, this uh, what this field needs. Okay. okay. So any. Uh, Technical institutes or the training centers are going to come up here. Are you proposing such kind of things to government? Um, because till now, like uh, all the people, like uh, engineering colleges, all the students, they go to Bangalore and other metro uh, cities for the training. So, very good question. So, I think our academia has to step up, uh, step forward, and they, they they have to include a lot of course courses as well as training materials. To students to enhance their skills, so that is something that all the uh, you know education institutes have to do, especially at technical institutes. So, which is currently actually missing. Right? What's the current yeah. need of the hour for this? Uh, so, the current need of the hour is so. So, we have the thing is, let's say you know, uh, uh, so we have a lot of support that is available, right? So, basically, semiconductor design or manufacturing it needs a lot of tools and uh, you know, uh, kind of let's say uh, what you call ADA tools. Right. So nowadays, there is a lot of, uh, you know, support that is available in front of government channels for, you know, for example, the education institutes to set up the, you know, uh, uh, the kind of environment that is required mm -hmm. for the students to uh, develop the skills. So it is like we have to go up, you know, and then go and explore. So that is the thing. So and that is what this workshop is trying to, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, build that awareness. To see, okay? So we have the things. We have to see. How how to you know whom to contact how you know what are the channels that are available oh. right that's that's the key point to move to move forward that, that's okay so what role is NASED going to play in this technology right so NASED, uh so basically northeast india scientific and entrepreneurial diaspora so uh, basically what we have done is uh, you know we have connected with all the people from northeast who are into uh, different fields of science and technology. It need not necessarily be just in semiconductor. So those are people who are in say biotech or you know uh, even in other uh, different disciplines of uh, science and technology, including the semiconductor. So our goal is to connect uh, people who are originally from say northeast or Assam, right? So who are in different parts of the world, and uh, we form a network. Mm -hmm. And then we provide a lot of uh, you know facilities or you know say I mean this this kind of platforms right so where the students or the faculty and you know, people from here can interact with some of the experts from outside <laughs> right so that is one goal so uh, uh, so basically organizing conferences and workshops so we also plan to do some kind of mentorship so uh, individual mentorship so because we have a lot of experts in India and outside. So we can also provide some kind of mentorship to students mm -hmm. or you know uh, uh, some other partners who want to uh, do some kind of startups. So uh, we have a lot of things in agenda, and we, it, it will be a multidisciplinary. It is not about the semiconductor, as I mentioned. So it will be in a biotech. So we, in, in fact, there is a seminar on biotech that is actually coming up uh, in, in January. So which is going to happen in Guwahati. Uh, so again, it is uh, kind of conceptualized by NASIC. So in going forward in future, we can expect that there will be a lot of involvement from NASED in you know, creating this kind of platforms in, in different different uh, domains of science and technology. So you say about the mentorship, like uh, as in uh, you are uh, introducing courses for, right. for the semiconductor based industry. Right. So, okay. So what kind of courses? So this, no, no, this, this mentor, so, okay, the courses when you talk about, uh, yeah. it has to be done by institutes so yeah. that we are not doing an individual level. So mentorship means we can help and guide people, right? So somebody has question, okay, how do I explore careers right? mm -hmm. so in this domain? So we can even have a one-to-one -one kind of mentorship with people, right? So, uh, so it is not something that we have started. So we have we are planning to start. It is in our agenda. So when right? can so, we expect that? So we will get to know. I think in uh, as the time comes. Uh, so it's a newly formed organization. Mm -hmm. So as the time goes, so definitely we'll have more and more uh, ideas of uh, what sort of things we're going to do. So that is there in our agenda, and then surely we'll see how to 
you know, kind of uh, extend it to a large section of people. Yeah. And lastly, apart from uh, the academicians, institutes or the college students, uh, what about the working class people? How these, these high tech industries are going to help uh, in job uh, employment generation, economic growth of the region? Okay, so uh, if you talk about semiconductor, that's a base of everything that we do in today's world, right? So it plays a huge amount of role, uh, especially in the economy of the country. Uh, economy of the whole world as such right so it plays a very important role okay so um, and other thing is it also very very strategic so it's like you cannot run an automobile industry right for example even without the semiconductors today right so it, it is it is like the backbone or you know it is uh, you know for many other industries okay so that that's that's very very crucial in the whole supply chain um, so there are a lot of opportunities are there uh, it is at the same time it's very challenging okay so people have to acquire a lot of specialized skills uh, to be able to do it so um, i mean what i would say is you know if you have to move up the value chain right i mean as someone saying in the this one right, we are talking about big Bharat by uh, 2047 so these are some of the steps you know we have to do so it has to come from the industry it has to come from academia it has to come from government right so it's a kind of collaborative effort and that is what is going to take our country uh, or the reason forward. So uh, that's the kind of economic sense it makes. That's how it, it makes a lot of economic sense to put a lot of importance into this. So uh, thank you for thank you. The, so much of information today and uh, letting us know about the, you know, the scenario of the semiconductor that's going to create in this region. Yeah. Thank you for joining. This is not this, Mr. Hazarika. Thank you. Thank you very much.